This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I have a mostly dry, should be except for my hands were wet, 16 by 20 inch canvas pre-primed from the store and a fresh batch of Prison Port Poinsettia and a whole bunch of others. Look for that 20% off coupon code underneath the video. And I'm just interested in playing. I'm going to put some colors down. This is a primary element, pigment powder. This is Passion. If I need to afterwards, I will make sure that I coat the canvas with something. I did just buy something. I'm not sure what it is. It's around here somewhere. <laughs> uh, I think it might be a Minwax product, in fact. That was the Orange Crush. This is the Tuscan Gold. I have done something that reminds me similar of this. This is the Pink Carnation, I believe. I'm probably going to use a few more colors, like the Twilight Orchid. Sounds good to me right now. I'm trying to stay in similar families. And I am going to swipe through with my spatula for sure. I've got Northern Sky. Oh, I didn't expect to find that there. But I must have got it ready because I took the little paint tab off the top. Oh yeah, now oh, that's cool. What do I want with Northern Sky? I want some... I want to try some Frozen. And really what I want is some Cerulean Blue. I have here some blue velvet. My cerulean blue is right here. And I'm going to use some Chantilly lace. I'm not sure I'm going to call it an extender. I was thinking about it. I kind of want to put some black in there, but I'm really nervous about doing it. So I guess I'm going to restrain myself. This is African Violet. Now it's time to start. Well, okay, I say that, but I've got, <laughs> I've got Midnight Shadow. And I want some of that. Part of me just wants to um, add cell activator and swipe through. But I think what I'm going to do is just play like I did in the past. Move some stuff out of the way. Scrape my extra colors off on the edge of the canvas. colors and primary elements colors. No idea how this is going to go. A new poinsettia. I'm going to clean off my spatula in between before I make green. Although I could use some green. Green would be nice. I'm not wiping that color off anywhere else. I have to tell you. This paint will flow to paint no matter what I do. I got a little green, not much. Now that's my starting place. I am going to wipe off my spatula. Now I can decide what else I want. Because I can. That's the name of my first book. It's on the Amazon link under on the link tree underneath Shamor under the video. Okay, that was Orange Crush, 
Tuscan Sun and some sour lemon with some orange crush in it. I'm going to go back again to a little more of the carnation. Some of the African violet. I'm going to try some of this Misty Veil. Vale. I'm not sure about it yet. I haven't completely become used to it yet. And I have Deep Amethyst. Which I think is going to go well with some more Cerulean Blue. For some reason I'm being called to some green. This is the Fandango. Oh, my spatula almost adhered. To my paper backing. My butcher paper, thank you, Leslie. Sorry I don't keep it cleaner. <laughs> I'm hoping I can do this fast enough. I really wanted to put some black in the background, but I haven't got to the place where I'm feeling like that's something I'm super comfortable with yet. Keep wiping off my spatula. I might have to flip over my rag because I've got quite a bit of paint on that. Let's go for the Chantilly Lace. Oh, no, let's go for some French Silk. And maybe a little Mayan Gold. Oh, okay, Spot and some Black Iris. Different spot. Let's see if I've got something to wind that up with. Okay, so I want something down here and I've been called to Violet Rose. I still want to try some black. But I'm thinking about using some pale blue in a second. Oh, I've got some African jade. And this is a primary element and a gorgeous color. The less you overwork this stuff, the better off you are. But they do blend well too. I want something there. I'm going to use the paint that's on my spatula and add some I think I want to see what the rose violet does with this Although I'm being called to some more African Violet and some more Midnight Shadow. Where's my African Violet go? There it is. I kind of want some turquoise in there. And I have the Dark Waters. a few interesting elements because I keep dripping. I 
forget I've got black behind, so if I want black, I can have black. I have to remember it's okay. Odd shapes are good. Not just okay, they're good. And scraping your colors off to use, not a bad thing either. So long as you're careful about your combinations. I want some more. I want to take a risk. Now, if I like this, I'm keeping it. If I'm dubious about it, I'm probably going to do something different. Like, use a stick to dip on top of it, or some variation on that theme. That was the Tuscan Sun again. That was the French Silk. <laughs> yeah, I didn't check till after. I'm tempted to grab a new spatula so there's nothing on there. I want some more, either the Orange Crush, no, I'm going for the Sour Lemon. Probably a little more of the poinsettia again. And I'm being called the frozen. And that one mark is bugging me. I have a lot of bottles in my way. And I don't think I should be letting that one mark bug me. If I put a couple more marks in there and unearth some colors, it's not going to hurt anything. So I just picked up those extra colors on my spatula. I'm using them. Still a little paint. I did a couple florals like this a while back. I want some purple right there. And that was Twilight Orchid. And I think I'm just going to leave that one mark there. I'm wondering what's going here and I think it's going to be that Midnight Shadow again. If I would open it up, it would be so much better. Midnight Shadow, and how about some more of the Cerulean Blue. And the Blue Velvet. And I'm feeling like there's going to be more purple on this side, and I see a color I love the look of. Not just Twilight Orchid. Is there anything left in it? Yes, there is. Okay, I'm still being called to some orange. So I think I'm going to try and play it safe. <laughs> yeah. Trying to figure out in advance which way the spatula goes is challenging, to say the least. So I'm just sort of trying to intuit and less is more as far as strokes go. I said that already. I don't mind putting my paint on the edge of the canvas because I'm not necessarily going to swipe over it yet. Okay. <laughs> Trying to figure out which way to go. And I've got some green, but it's not a bad green. Oh, that was different. Yeah, this is challenging for sure. I'm going to take some of my paint that I'm dripping in everything. Put that in the bucket. 
Don't want pain in that. I think I'm just about done though. I like the Fandango. I think I might want some more of that. I think I might want to do it freely too. It helps if you open the top. Why do I never remember? So that just makes me want to continue by adding a few more things. Just a few dabs. And what have I got? I've got the Chrysocolla again. I know it's open. <laughs> That's pretty. That's so pretty. So, I've got three minutes to tell you whatever. I kind of like this roughness in here, this, these weird patterns. I've got this paint, but it's a little, it's a little mucked up, but it still might be cool to use. Just as a contrast. Helps if I keep my bottles out of the way. Really hard to do so many colors and keep your bottles out of the way. Not 100% sure I'm happy with that, but as long as I don't drip again, I'm probably okay. I am using my colors up. Now a lot of times I would use a toothy tool and go through this, but I kind of really like what I've got. And I need something right there. Well, need and want. Kind of different. I definitely like that yellow. And the fact that you can blow in now. I like my tweezers because they have a tiny little line. They don't do much the first time and mostly it'll fill in. So sometimes I'm willing to take a risk with tweezers that I won't take with anything else. Part of me still wants to use the black, but I really like that. I think it's pretty as it is. I've got a few bubbles. I'm going to try and shimmer it at you. It was never meant to have any cells, so not to worry about that. You could put cells, you could have cells if you wanted to. The back end of these tweezers, they're on, they're stainless steel, they're on my Amazon link by the way. The back end is also good for dragging paint. And less good for knocking out bubbles, but still might work. So it does not look like I'm going to have to add a layer of varnish. Sorry about my head. Just realized it was in there. I wasn't doing much. Just slowly poking at the painting. All right, let's give you a look. See, shall we? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's sweet. I really like this. That was a ball. Thanks for joining me. I'm not so sure about that one mark in there. Not that hard to get rid of it. Just integrate it. Don't play with it too much. It's it's pretty good like it is. I got a minute to tell you I do sell my artwork and my link tree is below the video and it has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, Expressionist Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students. I'm not sure which way is the better way up, but it's pretty spectacular from up here. Wow. Cool. All right, well, that was a good experiment. I don't think I'll be doing a stage two to this. Matter of fact, I'm certain I won't, but I'll probably be trying to do this exact same thing again, hoping that I'll allow myself a stage two, just because I'd like to go in and add that texture. I might fill in any gaps I see with some spare color, but for the most part, my color stayed very true. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for the donations that helped keep me painting all this time. Wow. That is stunning. <laughs>
Thank you for joining me. I hope you come again. I'm posting at 3.15 Eastern Standard Time.